Hello, we hope you have been having a wonderful time in Thai 2021 so far. My name is Vinoba Vinagamuthi and I'm here with Adriana Vivakwa. We are Sikh Thai's adjunct chair for equity. In this presentation, we want to start off by highlighting some resources available to the community. After that, I'd like to talk about some work I've been undertaking in order to design a set of guidelines that could be used to improve the diversity of participation in our conferences. And then Adriana will talk about her work in building a committee amongst HCI researchers and practitioners in Latin America. The Sikhai website is a good place to find a lot of helpful information, including interesting blog posts that might shed insights into various policies or activities put in place by the executive committee. One such blog post was written by our adjunct chair uh, for CHI, Regan Mandrick, on how CHI conference venues and dates are selected. There's the Sikhai community calendar, which lets our community tell us about upcoming holidays of significance, in addition to publicizing events. It's a great resource to reference if you're trying to organize a conference or workshop and you want to make sure that there are no clashes. Neha Kumar, VP at large, wrote a blog about the calendar if you want more details. Quite recently, Neha also organized a set of equity roundtable talks. We have been inviting the community to discuss relevant topics to do with being global, improving accessibility, reviewing and mentorship, and many more. And we invite you to participate in the upcoming talks. These have been recorded and will be documented in detailed blog posts. Sick Eye Cares is another very important resource for conferences and the community. Cares is a space for anyone who has experienced discrimination or harassment to find help. Each conference has an assigned Sick Eye Cares member. For CHI 2021, your Sick Eye Cares person is Rena Webby. Please contact Shawan Barzell, VP at large, who chairs the Sick Eye Cares Committee for more information. Some funding mechanisms are available for the community. The Sikai Development Fund grants enable community-led initiatives to improve diversity. The Gary Marsden Travel Awards fund participation in conferences for students and early career researchers. You can find more information about these opportunities on the Sikai website or through contacting Neha Kumar. Specialized conference development funds are available for Sikai conferences to help fund and try out novel activities that improve the conference in some way. You can get more information by contacting VP for conference, Andrew Kuhn. While I'm here, I'd like to extend an open invite to contact us for just about anything, questions or suggestions, we will be happy to hear from you. One of the projects I've been working on is to design a set of guidelines that might help our family of conferences to adopt sustainable policies and initiatives to encourage diverse growth, participation, add in a healthy dose of inclusive thinking across multiple dimensions of diversity, depending on the type of conference in question. Work is still ongoing and currently most efforts have been going towards having conversations with various steering committees in a bid to find out how different groups of people are tracking the issue, tackling the issue even. Findings will be published eventually, but for starters, here are a few suggestions. Roll DNI thinking into long-term strategy through focusing efforts on multiple fronts with a dedicated person to look into issues concerning diversity and inclusion. It is helpful to be specific in what role of this, uh, in what the role of this dedicated person is, what focus most benefits your conference. In your search for an inspirational keynote or specialized panel, look to introduce someone you think of as pushing traditions. Be mindful of setting important dates, including deadlines. Refer to the Sikhai community calendar for help. Try and bring in new people to carry on the organization of the conference and transfer knowledge to them. Sikai has also been undertaking efforts to increase its global presence by reaching out to HCI communities across the globe, with a special emphasis on underrepresented regions. Current efforts involve engaging conversation with the African, Middle Eastern, and South Asia communities through their chapters and local leadership. Similar efforts were undertaken in Latin America, and we have recently established a Sikai Latin America Committee, a process initiated by the Sikai Development Fund. SICA has also had an Asia committee for six years now, which has grown in size in the past few years. Getting in touch with the local communities was the first step in all of these efforts, as they can help understand and navigate local issues. Local SICA chapters, HCI conferences, and scientific associations are valuable resources that can provide entry points to these communities. I'm happy to introduce the SICA Latin America committee members, myself and Sane Gaitan from Universidad de Colima, Mexico, will be acting as co-chairs. Francisco Gutierrez from Universidad de Chile, Gustavo Lopez Herrera from Universidad de Costa Rica, Eluisa Candelo from IBM Research Brazil, 
Leonel Morales Diaz from Universidad Francisco Marroquín, Guatemala, Luis Castro from Instituto Tecnológico de Sonora, México, Marisol Wong Villacres from Escuela Superior Politécnica del Litoral, Ecuador, Pedro Reynos Cuellar, currently at MIT, originally from Colombia, and Roberto Pereira from Universidad Federal do Paraná, Brazil. They should provide an additional point of entry into the Latin American HCI community and help create new information flows to enable mutual learning. The group will be working closely with VP at large Neha Kumar and AC President Helena Mentis, and you should expect to hear from them in the coming months. More details on this committee will be documented in upcoming blog posts. Thank you, and should you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We're getting better at this. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs>